Hello and welcome to this reading vlog for the rush, reading rush of 2019. It is Monday night, I have so far not read a single page because I came home from my vacation at like 3.30 and then I rested and then I had a meeting for this event I'm partaking in and so now at 10 o'clock at night I'm finally gonna read hopefully the entirety of Fullmetal Alchemist Volume 4 but at least a couple of pages is the plan and then maybe tomorrow I can watch the movie while editing some footage I think that's all I've done I've been on a train for like 18 hours and I'm kind of tired but I'm gonna read a little bit yeah good morning it is Tuesday morning last night I finished Fullmetal Alchemist Volume 4 I gave it four stars. It was really good. It was a lot of backstory, which I enjoyed. And then this morning, I, when I woke up, instead of going to pick up one of the books that I was going to read uh, for, for the reading rush, I just continued reading uh, Sleeping Giants, which I had by my bed. And I finished that one this morning, and it was amazing. I gave it four stars. And I am very excited to pick up the next book in that series. But now I'm gonna eat breakfast. I'm gonna watch the Fullmetal Alchemist movie on Netflix. And then I'm gonna, while watching, do some editing for my travel vlog, which is going up tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow, I don't remember. Thursday, maybe. Yeah. And then I'm gonna. Uh, Take care of some laundry so I can use my rocking chair for some more reading. And I also have things I have to do for the projects that I that I became a part of yesterday. I have another meeting tonight, I have another meeting on Thursday, I have a meeting on Saturday, and I also have some other things I have to get started on ASAP. So I have a lot to do today. I'm glad I'm not also working. Uh, so yeah, that's what's going on. Hello, it is uh, five minutes to four in the afternoon. Hello. On Tuesday. And I have watched the Full Metal Alchemist movie. It is... Uh, <laughs> it's not good. It was entertaining, but it's not... It's not good. Um, the main character doesn't look like he's 15. He looks at least 18. The child actors from the beginning were just bad. The special effects are like... They look like an ambitious fan movie. And all the costumes look like ambitious cosplay. But it was uh, entertaining. It made me tear up from time to time. But that is like scenes taken like word for, for word from the manga. So yeah. That wasn't really the movie's... Um, Thanks to the movie that I was tearing up. Um, I also read my second read of... Uh, no, my third read. Yeah. Uh, I read uh, Asgård, Sagård ur den nordiska mytologin, which I had on my TBR. It was good. I gave it three stars. It wasn't amazing, because I was expecting... I don't know, more from it. It's about... Norse mythology, and I was expecting more facts and more information, but it was kind of short. wasn't very much text on each side. It's not... Well, I think it's kind of like middle grade, or younger even. But I like the illustrations. I like the illustrator. Uh, same one who who uh, illustrated Vey, which is one of my favorite series. And so, yeah, it was enjoyable, but not the best thing I've ever read. So, yeah. So I'm done with my two short reads for the week, and so I'm gonna start reading uh, Dragonbound now. I think I'm gonna go out on the balcony, sit down for like half an hour, read some, and then get back to other stuff. While uh, watching the movie, I also started editing my travel vlog, and I am trying to export it now for like the fifth time, because something's been messing up. I hope it works this time. And yeah, just watching YouTube and reading at the same time. Yeah. Good morning. It is Wednesday, like 9.30. I'm about to have a uh, 
digital meeting thing. Um, so I did an update last night, but I did read a chapter and a half in Dragonbound. The first chapter really bored me, so I left it for a while and then I read another chapter later. I also read uh, yeah, a story and a half of Sherlock Holmes in this one. I also read some in the Sherlock Holmes book. And yeah, I read maybe... I think 240, 250 pages yesterday. Not the most, but at least it's something. Uh, and then I also played some Overwatch last night because I wanted to and I wanted to paint my nails. So I can't do that while reading. And so today I'm like I said, gonna have a meeting. I'm gonna go for a walk and I'm gonna do some stuff for the uh, event again. Uh, we'll see if I can potentially listen to audiobook while I do that, or if I need my full attention. Um, yeah, so I might get a little bit reading done today, but maybe not the most. We'll see. Hi, um, I just thought I'd update you on my reading. I have not done any reading today. I uh, had a meeting this morning and then I went for a... Um, we did not go for a walk. We went f to do some errands in town with me and my partner. And we also got some Belgian waffles and it was delicious. And then since I came home I have been uh, filming and taking a nap accidentally. <laughs> Um, so I just finished filming my second video of the day and I'm gonna put all my books back on my shelves and I'm gonna do some editing and then maybe later later I will do some reading. This readathon is not going well, <laughs> but yeah, what can you do? Uh, so that is what's been going on. Hello, so I have DNF'd Dragonbound after 36 pages because I can't stand it. It is so bad. I. I can't can't stand it. I started reading passages out loud for my partner and he was just cringing. And and, and they haven't even gotten anywhere. It's just oh no. Uh which is sad because this book is five of my challenges. So I picked up another book that I'm also reading out on the balcony. It is also purple and I it's also a book I've had for a while, so I should really get to it. So that's three challenges. And that is The Pale Horse by Agatha Christie. I am 30 pages in, enjoying that one so much more. And uh, yeah, so... But I still need a book about a non-human main character and some and a uh, debut book. Mm. So for non-human main character, I'm thinking of picking up Frost by Maggie Stiefvater or Shiver. These two books are also quite short, so I figured that would be fine. So I still need a debut novel. I'll work on that one. But yeah, so I'm gonna read a couple of pages of Frost now and um, yeah, watch some YouTube. I have uploaded two videos to YouTube at least. Um, scheduled so that's good I filmed two videos earlier like I said I feel good about that otherwise I've just been like wandering around at home so
Good morning, it is Friday, I barely updated yesterday, um, but what I did do yesterday is uh, first in the morning I went for a walk with my partner and then I had a meeting in town and then we went to the beach because it's suffocatingly hot everywhere apparently, but yeah, even in Sweden. Um, and I tried out my uh, uh, my new, no, it's not, well it is new, but I didn't have one before. And I also tried out my new floating donut, and it was amazing, and I loved it. And I also got a sunburn. I don't think you can see in this light, but I have burnt this half of my face. This arm, really bad, uh, is really red, and then the other arm, not as bad, and just some around my neck um, because I was outside a lot and I forgot to put on sunscreen <laughs> oops uh, yeah and I read like nothing yesterday and uh, yeah I, because I was busy let's play that after dinner I was just home but I was on twitter watching youtube not reading. So plan for today is I'm gonna finish Shiver. I am very intent on finishing this book. I am on page 52 of almost 300. I'm gonna try to finish that today. I will also do some cleaning around the house. I might have to go a little back and forth. Uh, and all the while I'm gonna watch YouTube because I'm about a week behind in my subscriptions and I feel terrible. <laughs> but I mean, I was on vacation, so yeah. But that's what I'm gonna do. Good morning, it is Saturday. I forgot to update you again yesterday, but uh, yeah. Uh, I did not finish Shiber last night. I did finish The Pale Horse, uh, which was three of the challenges. It's a purple book. I was sitting in the same spot the entire time and I should have read it last year. So yeah, it was fine. It was not bad, but it was... Um, a lot of just talking, not a lot happened, I feel like, but still the story was interesting, the um, the mystery was very interesting, I very much enjoyed that. Um, yeah, so I gave it uh, three stars. And now I feel like I'm back on track, on my reading, and now I have read to page 110 in Shiver. So I'm well on my way in this one as well. Hopefully I finish this one today. I have two meetings. I have a cat to feed. I'm cat sitting for see, I'm cat sitting for my brother who was cat sitting for my sister. <laughs> so yeah, I have to go feed and spend time with the cat. And yeah, that is what I have to do today. So yeah. I'm uh, gonna read some of this now, was the plan, and yeah. So yesterday uh, I said I was gonna finish Shiver, but then yesterday evening it was, re it was getting cool on the balcony over there where I was supposed to sit, and I, I thought I'd take the chance to sit for a while while it wasn't incredibly hot out there. And so, what else did I do yesterday? I put up some posters for this event I'm part of. Uh, and I also went to the store with my partner. And we cleaned up around the house a little bit. Which we should continue doing today. Yeah. So that's what's been going on.
Hello, it is Monday afternoon. I never up to do last night. I thought I'd wrap up this vlog. I ended up actually reading more than a thousand pages because after I finished Shiver, I read one of the stories in one of my Sherlock books. And then I also finished Graceling by Kristen Kishore, which is amazing. I gave it four stars. I've already started the second book. And yeah, so I thought I was failing this readathon, having only read two books and DNF in the third. But I ended up reading quite a few. And yeah, it's been fun. I enjoyed it. I'm sweating. I just got home. And uh, yeah, <laughs> if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I upload on Saturdays and sometimes Thursdays. And I will see you in my next video.